Okay, so in the next video, I want to show you how to continue to work and make seamless patterns. So what I always begin with is a swatch where I'm going to just create my design, start to think about my design. So right now I'm working, I've created a four inch by four inch artboard. And I'm calling it a swatch because I'm thinking that with these patterns, these patterns could go on fabric, uh, textiles, textiles are fabric, so many different kinds of things. Uh, okay, so here goes. So for this one, I am just going to work with the shape tools that I have. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to keep this real easy. I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to load this color in, maybe change it up. Let's see. Let's go for that purple there. Actually, my last one I did was purple. Let's change this up. Let's go for some green. Excellent. Okay, so we come on in. We have our ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down shift so I can make perfect circles. Again, I'm working with size, with repetition, some bigger, some smaller. All right, so there we have it. Let's do a couple more. Again, we can always change this up if we'd like to as well. Need something in there. Okay, beautiful. All right, so now I have this combination of shapes, but I can see that I have some hanging off the side. So what I want to do is if I was to make this seamless, wherever it's hanging off the side, I want it to appear over here. So if I was to take the swatch, put it, um, even upload it to a place like Spoonflower, um, or use it as a website background, and I wanted it to tile, what would that look like? So this is how I'm going to go about doing that. I am going to select these parts of the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab the rectangle tool, and I'm going to turn off the stroke in the fill. I'm going to use this just as a little guide. I'm going to come on in, and I am going to draw a rectangle that is going to encompass those two shapes. Excellent. So again, there's no fill or no stroke, but I still want it there. Now, I'm going to select these shapes as well. So I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to grab, grab my black arrow, hold down Shift, and collect these shapes that are encompassed inside of this rectangle. So I have selected the rectangle and the two shapes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come open up my Pathfinder window and I am going to choose the trim option, this one right here. Excellent. I'm going to select off. I'm going to click one more time. I'm going to come to object. I'm going to ungroup it and click. And now I just have this shape right here. So I'm going to grab the shape and move it over. Now in order to move it over perfectly straight, I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to bring it on over and line it on up. As I do that, I can come on in, start moving things around. Okay, here it goes. All right, could do the same one, the next one, the same way. I'm gonna grab my black arrow. I'm gonna click on this little part right here. Sometimes it's better to zoom it on in. I'm gonna start moving it. And even if I pull it on down, as soon as I hold down shift, it's gonna align it perfectly. I'm going to bring it on over, get, and if I have my smart guides on, I can see that it's intersecting. Um, so again, where are your smart guard guides? Go to view, turn on smart guides. You'll see that info. I'm going to do the same to the top. Come on down here one more time. I'm going to grab the rectangle, turn off the fill, turn off the stroke. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to line it on up right to here. And I can see, right, that it's saying that it's intersecting. Well, it's actually coming right up to the page. Beautiful. That's all I want. Again, I need to grab my black arrow, hold down shift, select these three shapes, come on over, grab onto trim, click off, ungroup it, object ungroup, deselect, black arrow, move this on down. Again, to keep it perfect, hold down shift. Bring it on down, intersects, beautiful. Hold down shifts, 
hold down shift it will bring it so it's perfecto and there we have it beautiful now I might want to change the color whoopsie okay okay that shape right there I could chuck that see that is just the frame that I was using to crop it and there's going to be one over in here too or wherever it was I can't even remember where I did it where is it up oh, right there okay there we go okay so um, now I could change the color up if I wanted to um, I can introduce some other little shapes so maybe I want to grab my uh, pencil tool and come on in change up the color add a little another color here introduce some other shapes wherever I'd like for them to be So again, with our shape, we always know our shape is closing. It will get that little circle. All right, so a lot of different options. Um, again, working with the shape tools that we have. and making things look interesting. Um, so again, I could really spend a lot more time working with this and seeing what I have, but I'm gonna just leave it as it is right now. Uh, maybe even come in, I wanna change this purple color, not liking that too much. If I wanna select all, I could just go select same fill color and I am going to add them in with that green and actually open up my color guide and just go lighter. See what I think? Like that better. Okay, move things around. You can just, you can see, you could really just spend a lot of time figuring out how you want things to be. All right, so now I'm going to click onto this and I'm going to turn it into a pattern. So I'm gonna to come to object I'm going to come to pattern and I'm going to say make and I'm going to just keep it as a grid and I'm going to hit OK. All right now this is sometimes where I might see a couple errors and I might want to change them up. Um, so I don't see an error but I just want to show you what an error might look like. So for instance um, sometimes you might see a little space and if that's the case just find the shape and just move it up to close that down. And um, you can play around with what you see. If you don't like the way things look, you can you can change it up. So I am going to, I have a copy right there. It's right there. I always end up making multiple copies, but that's okay. Save a copy, okay. Now I'm going to hit done. I'm out of here. And I'm going to create another artboard and apply this pattern. So I'm going to grab my artboard tool and I'm gonna just draw in over here, right next to it, oopsie. And I'm gonna make this one 12 by 12. Again, because this one was four by four, this one will work totally as 12 by 12. I'm gonna move this on over. Ah, so annoying, sometimes it grabs some of the shapes, didn't want it to do that, but that's okay. And again, I've already created my pattern, so I'm, I'm not going to worry so much about that. I'm not going to worry so much about it. Okay, so let's get this the size we want it to be, 12 by 12. There it is. Beautiful. I'm just going to check those for right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this pattern. Um, so I'm going to grab this onto this, click. I'm going to make this 12 by 12, 12 inches by 12 inches, I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm going to apply this, I'm gonna click this right here, and I'm going to move this on over. All right, so we took a four inch by four inch pattern, turns into 12 inch by 12 inch. Now, what's great too is we're gonna see that this will continue to repeat. So what do I mean by that? If we wanted to make it you know, even bigger and bigger, it's gonna repeat as well up, and I'm seeing a little error. 
which would need to go in and fix. And we look at this one right here, that's not working. All right, so let, let's, let's fix that. And I'm gonna just delete that. Once you get the pattern created, you don't, it doesn't matter as much. All right, so let's zoom it on in. Great example of how we're gonna fix our errors. We're gonna come on in here and we're gonna to come to window and we are going to come to uh, pattern options and we're going to edit our pattern. Okay, so I see what my mistake was. Actually, when I created the pattern, I didn't bring this over properly. It looks like something's there. Oh, maybe it lost its color, right? It looks like it might have lost its color. So I'm gonna click on all right, there we have it. The problem is fixed. Beautiful, I deleted it somehow. Sometimes we delete stuff. So I'm gonna hit save a copy. Okay, okay, done. All right, now it's working. All right, so this is also a repeating pattern. How do I know so? Well, I can go, come on in. I can say edit copy, edit paste in front. I can move this on over. Again, I can hold on to shift. Let me move this over here. We can see everything lines up perfectly. Um, and what we've done is we've created a seamless pattern. We've really just worked with very simple, simple shapes. We could change this up as much as we'd like to. Lots of possibilities.